Learning keyboard shortcuts is one of the best ways to improve your workflow in just about any software. It can take a lot of time to learn all the useful shortcuts, but in the end, it's always worth it. To help you become as efficient as possible using Studio One 4, I'm going to show you over 100 keyboard shortcuts. I've also created this free tool. If you don't have Excel, then you can use Google Sheets. There's also a PDF version. At the time of making this video, it includes every default shortcut in Studio One 4. You can use this for learning. You can also use it when customizing your own keyboard shortcuts. You can get this free tool by clicking the link in the description. For this video, I'm using software called Karnak. It shows what keys I'm pressing in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. The shift key doesn't always show up. So if it's a capital letter, just know that I'm pressing shift. Also, if you're on a Mac, just substitute command for control and option for alt. There's a lot to learn, so I've broken them down into sections. Look at the timestamps in the description. Remember to like and save the video so it's easy to keep coming back to. Okay, let's get started. F2 opens and closes the editor. F3 is for the console or mixer. Pressing Shift and F3 toggles the size of the mixer. F4 opens the inspector. F5 opens the browser. It opens on whatever tab you were last on. The different browser tabs also have their own shortcuts on F6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Control F is to search in the browser. After pressing this, the previous shortcuts won't work to close the browser or change tab. Cross off the search here, then it'll work again. Or just close the browser here. F11 opens the channel editor. Here you can see all your effects. Shift F12 toggles all the optional views off and on. It will only open the views that you last had open. For example, when I close them all and press again, it will open them all. But if I only have the mixer open, then it will just open and close the mixer. There's loads of different ways to navigate in Studio One 4. Clicking and dragging the time ruler left and right scrolls horizontally. Dragging up and down will zoom in and out. When scrolling up and down with the mouse wheel, hovering over the tracks on the left will scroll slower. Hold shift to scroll left and right. Control to zoom vertically. And control and shift to zoom horizontally towards the cursor. While holding control, you can use the arrow keys to scroll in small steps. Page up and page down scrolls up and down but in bigger steps. And holding control while pressing home and end will skip to the top and bottom. If you hold shift and alt you can zoom in by drawing an area with the mouse. Just left click while holding shift and alt to zoom out again. The W and E keys are to zoom in and out horizontally. Hold shift to zoom vertically. Hold alt and press W or E to undo or redo the zoom. Alt Z zooms out fully to show everything in your song. It has a minimum size so it zooms out a little far when you're just working with a short loop. When you have a full arrangement though it's extremely useful. Shift S is to zoom to the current selection and shift L to zoom to the loop. Pressing Z on its own toggles zoom. This flicks between two different zoom states. If we imagine we're in zoom state one, each time I zoom in and out, I'm overwriting the current zoom state, which is zoom state one. When I press Z, I save the current zoom state and flick to zoom state two. If I zoom in and out or zoom to selection here, I'm only overwriting zoom state two. Zoom state one stays the same. Now I can flick between them both by pressing Z.
To set a loop, you can draw it with your mouse. Hold Ctrl and click to set the start point. Hold Alt to set the end point. Hold Ctrl and click and drag to move the loop area. Holding Alt and pressing 1 or 2 on the number pad will set the loop start or end points to the playhead. To loop the current selection, press P. This will snap to the nearest bar. Hold Shift and P to loop the selection exactly, without snapping to the bar. Ctrl Alt P toggles the loop to follow the current selection. Press again to toggle it off. Press forward slash to activate or deactivate the loop. For playback, the space bar is to start and stop. Enter is also start but not stop. Press F to toggle auto scroll. When toggled on, the screen will follow the playhead. Zero on the numpad does multiple different things. If the song is playing, press once to stop. Press again to return to the point where playback was started. A third press returns the playhead to the start of the song. Alt and zero on the numpad toggles return to start and stop. With this toggled on, the playhead will go back to the point where playback was started whenever playback is stopped. This works when using the spacebar for stop and also using zero on the numpad. Minus and plus on the numpad is to rewind and fast forward the playhead or bar. Press L to move the playhead to the start of whatever is currently selected. Holding control and pressing space moves the playhead to the cursor. To go to the start or the end of the loop, press 1 or 2 on the numpad respectively. Alt and O sets a play start marker. Alt P enables the play start marker. Now whenever you press start, playback will start from this marker. Press M to mute the current track. Shift M to mute or unmute the selected events. And Control Shift M is global mute. Any tracks that are muted will be unmuted. If you press again, the same tracks will be muted again. S is to solo tracks. And Control Shift S is global solo. To insert a normal arrangement marker, press Insert. Shift and Insert allows you to insert a named marker. It's Shift B and N to go to the next or previous marker. Hold Control and press Full Stop on the numpad to recall a specific marker. Alt and Y will set the start and end markers to the current selection. To select different events, you can use the arrow keys. Pressing home takes you to the first event in the track that's selected. Pressing end should take you to the last. This doesn't always work and I'm not sure why. Hold shift to extend this selection. You can draw an area by clicking and dragging from an empty space. This selects everything in the area. If you want to start the area in a place where there is no empty space, then hold shift. Control I will invert the selection. Press Ctrl A to select all. Press Ctrl Shift A to select all, but only on the current track or tracks. Ctrl D to deselect all. And Ctrl Shift D to deselect all on tracks. Alt L selects all in loop. 
Press Alt R to create a range over all tracks from the current selection. Press R to arm a track ready for recording and U to monitor the input. Pressing C enables the click or metronome. Press star to start recording. Shift C enables the pre-count. Now when I press record, I'll be counted in. O enables pre-roll. So instead of being counted in, a little bit of the track is played before we start recording. <laughs> I enables auto punch. For editing, you have the usual Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl X to cut, Ctrl Z to undo, and Ctrl Y to redo. Press V to copy the loop range to scratch pad. Press T to add tracks and Shift T to remove tracks. To insert an instrument part or MIDI clip, just double click. Control Shift P will insert a pattern clip. Press Caps Lock to open the virtual keyboard. N toggle Snap to Grid on and off. Holding ALT and pressing the arrow keys will nudge the selected event. Press CTRL L to move the selected event to the playhead. When clicking and dragging an event, hold ALT to copy and paste. Holding control will also copy and paste, but with instrument parts they will be shared. This means any editing done to one will also affect the other. If you want them to be separate again, just press G. This is to merge events or consolidate. When multiple are selected, they will be merged. With snapping turned on, the edges of the resulting event will snap to the nearest bar. If you don't want this to happen, then press N to turn snapping off before pressing G. Control B will bounce the selection to audio. Control Alt B does the same but bounces to a new track. Press D to duplicate event. Shift D to duplicate shared. Alt and D will duplicate an insert, shifting everything to the right. Press Control Alt I to insert silence. Press Tab to skip to the next transient. Alt X to split the selected event. Control Shift X will split all events at the loop start point and end point. 
press X to create crossfades between audio clips. Shift X adds auto fades. Control R will reverse the clip. Press Alt N to normalize the audio clip. This adjusts the volume of the clip so that the loudest peak is zero decibels. You can hold Alt and press the plus and minus keys on the numpad to increase and decrease the volume by three decibels. Hold both Shift and Alt for a finer volume adjustment. Press Q to quantize perfectly to the grid. Alt Q will quantize by 50% for more subtle timing corrections. To restore the original timing of the clip, press Shift Q. For manual time stretching, press Alt Insert to insert a bend marker. Control Alt R enables ripple edit. Press Ctrl M to edit an audio clip using Melodyne. Ctrl Alt and M will remove Melodyne. Press A to show automation. Hopefully that was helpful. Leave a comment letting me know your favourite shortcuts. As always, if you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them all. If you're interested in hearing the track that I kept showing in this video, keep an eye out for my next video. It was originally to demonstrate some of the Presence XT sounds. I have tons of ideas for general music production videos, but I think my plan for now is to stick to mainly Studio One tutorials. I change my mind all the time though, so we'll have to see. Let me know what you'd like me to do videos on. I'm going to try and do videos more regularly, so like and subscribe if you're interested. Studio One Gang. Yay! Le to help you, to help you be the most, I'm going to show it, show if it shows what keys I'm pressing in the, for this video I'm using, outro, then keep, for me, I have tons of different ideas for general music production. Sort of, uh, let me know what you let me know what you'd like me to do video videos on.